Hello and welcome back to the Ephesus Football Channel and today's match preview for the RB Leipzig versus Manchester United Champions League game. And this game is absolutely crucial. Now let's discuss how this group is set up. PSG, us in Manchester United and RB Leipzig all sit on nine points coming into this game with only two teams progressing to the knockout stages of the Champions League and the third, of course, going down into the Europa League. Now, of course, Manchester United play RB Leipzig, as we discussed, and PSG face Istanbul, Besak Shir. Now, a win or any sort of positive result for PSG will take them through into the knockout rounds of the Champions League. So we are fully expecting that in this game, in their game, I should say, against Istanbul. However, it's our game which is more interesting. If RB Leipzig beat Manchester United, they go through to the knockout rounds. However, any other result, Manchester United go through. Currently, Manchester United sits second in our group. PSG are top. RB Leipzig are third. Istanbul are, of course, fourth. No matter what, Istanbul will be bottom. Now, this game is huge for Manchester United because we this game should be ra wrapped up already. Let's not make if, any if buts about it. We should have beat Istanbul at, in, in Turkey. We should have at least got something against PSG at Old Trafford. So we come into this game with all the pressure on us. Before we start talking about Manchester United and the news that's come out today, which I'm fuming about, and I, I'm not going to hold any punches back when we talk about that. But we will talk about RB Leipzig first. Now, RB Leipzig come into this game sat in third place in the Bundesliga and come into this game off the back of an exciting and thrilling 3 all draw against the league leaders and the current European champions Bayern Munich. Now, RB Leipzig, of course, play either a 3-4-3 three, three, or a 4-3-3. Three, three. We saw a 4-3-3 three, three in that Bayern Munich game, however, in the last game against Manchester United, we did see a 3-4-3. Three, three. And I'm, I, I'm expecting a similar game and similar team to the one we saw first time out against RB Leipzig. However, RB Leipzig manager Julian Nagelsmann has already said they came into the game at Old Trafford too nervy. And today they are going to try and press more, be more, be more at it and try and beat Manchester United and beat them com comfortably. Now, Manchester United have an amazing away record and... RB likes to have an immaculate home record. So it's going to be an unmovable object versus an unstoppable force. It's going to be a real clash. And I hope Manchester United can get something from it. Injury-wise, RB Leipzig ain't looking too bad. Conrad Leimer, Klosterman and Henriques are all out, unfortunately, for them. However, it was only Benjamin Henriques that was played in the first leg. So it's a similar sort of team we're going to be seeing from the first leg in this game. Now, let's talk Manchester United. And obviously the big news that's overshadowed this entire game is from the biggest knobhead and dickhead in the whole of football, Mino Raiola. Of course, today he's come out and made comments about Paul Pogba and his future at Manchester United, stating how he doesn't see Paul Pogba staying there. He doesn't want to sign a new contract and thinks Manchester United should let Paul Pogba leave this January. Now, this is a disgrace. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not holding any punches here. Paul Pogba, you're a disgrace. Mino Raiola, you're a bigger disgrace. Now, this is Paul Pogba's agent. It's not as if just some random newspapers come out. It's Paul Pogba's agent. These these words have come from his mouth. Paul Pogba does not want to stay at Manchester United. And whether he wanted these this to come out now or not, or not, it's irrelevant. If you, you're playing for that badge, you don't go to your agent. Someone we know is has done this before, sprouting your mouth... You go to the club and you say, oh, Ollie, I, I respect you, but I want to leave. I want a new challenge. Like we've seen other players do before. You don't drag this club's name through the dirt. And why, the, why we know this is Paul Pogba's words, look at what he done done after The Sun published an article about him quitting France because of the French, is it president? Straight away, he was on his Instagram saying, these, these aren't, this ain't true. And was threatening legal action. Radio silence from Paul Pogba since Mina Reina has come out with these comments. And it's a disgrace. It really is a disgrace. I mean, you look at you can look across my chat. I'm a big fan of Paul Pogba. I think he's a fantastic player when he's playing at the best. But let's not let's not beat around the bush here. This game was massive. This week is massive. And to go through that is just selfish from Paul Pogba. Selfish from Mina Reina. And it's an absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. Not only do we play a must win or must perform Champions League game against RB Leipzig on the weekend we have the derby against Manchester City and Paul Pogba comes and drops this bombshell 
It's just so selfish. And it's a disgrace. That's all I can say. It's an absolute disgrace. And I don't think Paul Pogba should start today. I think Pogba will start. And later on when we go into my teams, I have put Pogba in one of my teams. And I think that's purely because I think we've got a lack of attacking options. And Pogba just would then have to start. Look, we have Donny van der Beek. Donny van der Beek signed this summer. Clearly wants to play for Manchester United. He's, sp he's spoken only positively about the club since joining. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, despite how poorly he's been treated by the club. And, well, not the club really, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer himself. But he's only spoken positively about it. Paul Pogba seems every week to so we have some new comments coming about out about him. About how he wants to leave the club. Just get him gone. I don't, at this point, I, uh, I love Paul Pogba. I think he's an, an extraordinary talent. One of the best midfielders in the world when at his game. But if he doesn't want to be here... Don't keep him. But at the same time, Mina Ryla, you keep your mouth shut. It's not about you. It's about Paul Pogba and Manchester United. Mina Ryla come, doesn't shouldn't come into this. Mina Ryla doesn't sell Paul Pogba. Manchester United sells Paul Pogba. But let's get back into the actual football game. Now, like I said, I think Ole Gunnar Solskjaer will play Paul Pogba. Paul Pogba, like I say, is undoubtedly one of the best players in the world. But I think the disgrace that he's put upon this club with these latest comments despite the fact that they didn't come from his mouth directly means he shouldn't be playing i think he's lucky to be in the squad to be quite frank and if it was if it wasn't for so many injury problems and how big this game is i wouldn't have had him in there if this was istanbul he would not be in the squad but let's talk about team news now i can't read what only gonna social is gonna do this game i think there's there's three different systems we could play and that is horrifying to think about how how many other clubs can you think of that could go into a game and you don't know what formation they're going to play out of three. We can either play a diamond, the classic 4 2 3 1, or the five back. And I, I can't pick between them. Now, if we go for the five back, I think we will see Luke Shaw join as a free centre, join as the three centre backs with De Gea and Gus. It will be Wan Bissaka as a right wing back, Lindelof, Maguire, Luke Shaw, Tellez as left wing back, and the midfield two. I think we'll see Scott McTominay because Fred is suspended. And I think McTominay would play this game anyway, to be honest. And I think we'll see Paul Pogba. Then I think we'll see Bruno Fernandes. Then we've got Mason Greenwood and Marcus Rashford leading the line. Because, of course, both Anthony Martial and Edison Cavani are both injured. Now, if we go for the 4 2 3 1, I also still see Paul Pogba starting. I think things will be the same back four, apart from obviously Luke Shaw comes out. A midfield two of McTominay and Paul Pogba. Cam, Bruno Fernandes. I think on the left we'll see Marcus Rashford. On the right we'll see Donny van der Beek or Juan Mata. I think I've gone for Donny van der Beek because I just hope it's Donny van der Beek. But I think Juan Mata could quite easily start there. And up top, I've gone for Mason Greenwood. I, I, I can't see Odin Galo starting. If he does start, I might just have to quit the stream straight away. Straight away, I might have to quit the stream. It's honestly would be that bad. And if we do go for the diamond, once again, I think I think Donny van der Beek will be on the bench. I think we're going to go for the same back four. We'll see Demania Matic play just in front of the centre back. We'll see midfield two of Pogba and McTominay, Cam Bruno, and up top we're going to see Mason Greenwood and Marcus Rashford. Now, for me, I play a similar team, but in the four-two-three-one, I play the exact same team that I said Oli would start. Definitely play Donny van der Beek instead of Hoan Mata. And I would play Demania Matic instead of Scott McTominay and bring McTominay on if we've if we've got a lead to hold. Then in the diamond, it's exactly the same team, aside from the fact that I would take Paul Pogba out, send him to the bench where he deserves to be sitting, and play Donny van der Beek. Look, there is no two ways about this. Manchester United need to win today. Not just obviously to secure our place in the next round, because obviously we only need to draw to do that. But to keep a run going. We go into the Manchester City game needing to win. For pride. And to keep what has been. What was started out as a disappointing season. But we've, we've stepped out. We're not, we are top four now. Which is important and it's good. Obviously we've got a game in hand on majority of the teams in the top four. So we win today. And we go to the Man City game and win. We put ourselves in a fantastic position. And I guess you could say we're in a title race. Look, we should have we should have got this result. This qualification wrapped up already we should have beat Istanbul and we should have got something against PSG there's no doubts about that but we can win this game and it's this this difficult task which no doubt it is hasn't been made any easier by Mina Raiola's comments now if we don't qualify for the next round of the Champions League we are in no better position than we were 12 months ago when we was in the Europa League because that's exactly where we'll be again do I think we can win this I, I do think we can win this game do I think we are going to win it no I don't I think we will draw that. I think that will be enough to get us through into the next round of the Champions League. I'm going for a one-all draw. Now, please do let me know down below 
what you think this game will be, make sure you tune in to the stream at half seven, kick off at eight for this live watch along, well for the live watch along I should say, and that's about it, hope you did enjoy, make sure you hit that like button below, subscribe if you're new and you haven't already, turn that notification bell on so you never miss a video, and let me know, again, what you think the score will be, and what you think of Paul Pogba and Mina Raiola. Now, I'll see you next time. Peace.